Biomolecules Biomolecules present in living tissues. The compounds present in the living organisms are called biomolecules. The biomolecules are involved in different types of functions performed by living organisms. A few important biomolecules present in the living tissues are mentioned here. Proteins as macromolecules. Proteins are macromolecules. They are made up of linear chains of amino acids linked by peptide bonds. Proteins should form an essential part of your diet as it performs a number of vital functions of the body. Proteins have four structural levels, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. The representation of these structural levels is shown here. Nucleic acids Nucleic acids are macromolecules present in all living cells. There are two types of nucleic acids, namely deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, and ribonucleic acid, RNA. DNA forms the genetic material of almost all the organisms. To explain the structure of DNA, James D. Watson and Francis H. Crick, in the year 1953, proposed the double helix model of DNA. According to this model, DNA molecule is composed of two polynucleotide strands running anti-parallel to each other like a twisted ladder. The backbone of the helix is made up of deoxyribose and phosphate, while nitrogen bases are arranged at right angles to the backbone as shown in the diagram here. Enzymes The biocatalysts Enzymes are proteinaceous substances which are capable of catalyzing biochemical reactions without itself undergoing any change. The activity of the enzyme occurs at a region called the active site. The sequence of enzyme activity is shown here. The substrate binds to the active site of the enzyme to form an enzyme-substrate complex. This is a transition state during which bond breaking or making is completed quickly and the product is released from the active site. Activation energy Activation energy is the energy required to get the reaction started. Enzymes by functioning as catalysts serve to reduce the activation energy required for a chemical reaction to take place. The graphical representation clearly shows that the activation energy required for a reaction without enzymes is much higher than the activation energy required for an enzyme-catalyzed reaction.